Hi Aries, this is Petra at IndigoTarot.club and I'm going to do a Celtic Cross reading for you today for the month of November 2017. I'm going to pull three extra cards for love specifically for you for November from my Hanson Roberts Tarot deck. For the Celtic Cross I'm using the Gilded Tarot deck. And for overall advice I'm going to pull a card from the Ascended Masters Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue for you. So I've already shuffled and cut the cards and I'm ready to get started, Aries. So for you, I have the Eight of Swords. Energy crossing you, I have the Two of Swords. Basis of the situation, I have the Seven of Cups. Immediate past, I have the Hierophant. Crowning thoughts, I have the Page of Swords. For what's coming in the immediate future, I have the King of Swords. For how you see yourself, I have the Ace of Wands. Your environment or how others see you, I have the Wheel of Fortune. For what you really want, I have the Ten of Wands. For your outcome card, I have the Four of Cups. For additional outcome cards, I have the World and the King of Wands. Overall, what I'm feeling is that you are going through some kind of legal battle right now or um, a divorce you just finished completing a divorce and it feels like you're very hopeful for your future and I see that especially in the outcome as well um, but currently it feels like there's a lot of communication and legal matters going on so let's start now with you with the eight of swords aries for some reason you're feeling restricted in s some matter currently the energy crossing you is the two of swords feeling even more restriction and feeling like you have to make a choice you have to make a decision on something it feels like it's tied into the Seven of Cups, which is the basis of the situation. It feels like something's been dragging on for a while. With the Hierophant card in your immediate past, it feels like it could have to do with marriage or divorce, some kind of arrangement. Um, it feels like there's some kind of uh, legal battle going on here. With the Crowning Thoughts being the Page of Swords, it feels like there's going to be some kind of action taken very soon and it feels like an action that you're wanting to come forward so that's why it's in your crowning thoughts right now because it's it's uh it's on the verge of happening right now whatever this action is for what's coming in the immediate future i have the king of swords and it feels like there's a male in your environment who could be slightly older than you, could have some gray um, facial hair. This person could be very uh, analytical and very cutting in his words. Um, it feels like for some of you, this is a friend of yours that you've had for a very long time. For others of you, it feels like it's your father your father is giving you advice when it comes to this legal matter or this uh, separation that you're going through or this divorce. For how you see yourself, I have the Ace of Wands. So you feel like what you're going through right now is very temporary and you're very hopeful that in the near future everything is going to get better. What I'm seeing is that there is a fog and the fog is clearing quickly. And so I feel like I feel like towards the middle of November, you're going to start feeling this way. You're going to start feeling more optimistic about your future, despite what's happening right now. For your environment, I have the will of fortune and this feels like there is a positive change coming towards you and it almost feels like your intuition is telling you 
even though you're going through all this crap right now, you're going to succeed no matter what, okay? So for the position of what you really want, I have the Ten of Wands. For some of you, what I'm feeling is that you're having to move to another house with your children. And it's a big undertaking because there's two or three different schools that they go to. And so it's, it's causing some stress right now. Okay. Now in the States, um, a couple of weeks in December is, is, is the next break after the Thanksgiving break. Maybe you're trying to target the move during that time so that you don't disrupt your children's school schedule. But, um, what I'm feeling with this is that what you really want is you want your friends and relatives to support you and help you with this move or help you by watching the children so that you can physically move the items or drive the truck or manage the people that you've, you've hired to help you move all your stuff out of one house into another house. For some of you, you're moving from one edge of the city to the totally opposite end of the city. Um, but either way, it feels like in November, your children are extremely important to you when it comes to not causing any um, stress to them because of this move that you have to make. For your outcome card, I have the Four of Cups and the surrounding cards, I have the World and the King of Wands. With the Four of Cups, what I'm feeling is the same thing I was feeling with the Ace of Wands. You're feeling very hopeful, like your intuition is very strong and it's telling you what you're doing right now, what you're going through right now, it's temporary. Things are going to get a lot better for you very soon. And I, I'm seeing the middle of November again. So maybe some of you are going to have this uh, a dream uh, of, of um, all these good things that are coming to you. Or you're just going to have a very strong wave hit you, uh, making you feel like, yes, you should be positive about this change. You should be positive about this move. You should look forward to your immediate future because it's not going to be crappy like it is right now for those of you that are having to deal with this restriction, restrictive feeling or this legal battle that you're going through. With the World card and the King of Wands, this feels like something that's going to happen past November. This feels like a man is going to come in, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, is going to come in and help you after you've established yourself at this new location. For some of you, what I'm feeling is that you're going to start a home-based business sometime around January or February after you've moved in in November and December and established yourself there in that neighborhood. Um, but this man, for some of you, this man is going to hire you part time to help him with his business. And it may have something to do with um, textiles or patterns of some sort. And then for others of you, this man is going to be interested in you romantically, but he's going to be friends first with you. He's going to offer his help to you, offer his services to you. Um, he's some kind of entrepreneur and um, you're going to take him up on his offer because even though some people, um, some of your relatives did help you moving, you, you feel like you don't want to ask them for help in January and February because you've already asked them for a lot of help in November and December. So that's why some of you are going to take this man up on his offer. And um, for others of you, those of you that decide to actually work with this man part time while your children are at school, this is going to help you further down the road in 2018 to move up the ladder at this man's place of business and it feels like for a few of you, later on down the road, this man is going to trust you so much that he's going to give you a lot of responsibilities pertaining to his business um, in 2018, but further down, like maybe summer or fall. Okay. 
So with the World card and the King of Wands, this is for your this is for your future. But with the Four of Cups in the outcome, you're very positive and hopeful that things are going to pan out for you positively, even though right now you're feeling stuck or like nothing is going to work out for you. Okay, that's just a temporary. That's just a temporary thing right now. So for love, I'm going to pull three cards for you, Aries. I have the Six of Rods, the Nine of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. With the Six of Rods, this is that King of Wands person, this um, entrepreneur, this man. Um, he's going to help you a lot, okay? If you let him, if you say yes, he's going to help you a lot. With the Nine of Swords, it feels like some of you are going to be bothered by your ex. Uh, you're going to ask your parents to help you to keep this person away from you and your children. For some of you, you might have to do something at your children's schools. Uh, so that they can be on alert in case your ex tries to talk to the kids at school. With the Knight of Cups here, it feels like for some of you, you're going to have two suitors in January and February. You're going to have two suitors wanting to take you out. And it feels like for some of you, you are going to accept and see what these people have to offer for you and it feels like you're not focused on what they have to offer financially you're focused on what they have to offer as far as supporting you mentally um, because of the turmoil that this last person put you through okay Aries let me pull a card for you for overall advice for November and what I've pulled is energy healing. So let me read that to you. The situation you've inquired about involves energy healing. You have healing abilities that you can direct through your hands, thoughts, and heart. Send loving energy to elevate and heal this situation. You can clear the energy in a home, office, or vehicle as well. Your experiences with energy healing may be so powerful that you decide to conduct healings as a profession. Additional meanings for this card. Take an energy healing course such as Reiki, Qigong, Pranic Healing, or Healing Touch. Your life purpose involves conducting energy healing. Clear the space in your home or office through Feng Shui, Burning Sage, or other energy healing methods. Send love to the situation or person. Avoid situations, places, or relationships with harsh energy. Everything is healing and will be okay. Okay, Aries, I hope this reading helped you. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Be sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising sign videos for more information and to see which resonates with you the most. If you would like to enter for a chance to win a free reading with me, all you have to do is go to my website and click on the Enter Here tab. Thank you for watching. This is Petra at IndigoTarot.club.